following headlines number one don't spoil my marketer bag i am very single erica tells kid Ryan. number two i am not your future husband kid Ryan to erica the last but not the least what chacha eke is passing through all these will come your way in Amakachi. Stay tuned. <laughs> Don't spoil my market, I beg. I'm very single. Erika tells Kidwire. A Twitter exchange between SP Brother Niger housemates Kidwa and Erika has ended in an interesting manner. On Monday, the two had a funny exchange on Twitter with Erika telling Kidwa not to spoil her market because she's still single. It all started after Kidwa asked his fans to ask him anything. Erika jumped in and asked him why he couldn't speak pidgin English properly. The Abuja-based big boy hit Erika with a low blow as he asked why she cannot cook. Well, it didn't end there as the conversation went on and it uncovered more detail about their relationship. Kidwaya declared to Erika that he's not her future husband. Kidwaya asked Erika in their conversation, can your future man grab your throat the way I do? Which shows he's telling her he's not her future husband. The popular two ex big brother Niger housemates, Kidwa and Erika, who were a couple inside big brother Niger house, had a conversation yesterday and they exposed each other to a level that Kidwa declared to Erika that he is not her future husband. Big brother Niger 2020 edition, which ended some weeks ago, and many people believe after the show, Kidwa and Erika will continue their love play, but it looks like Kid Wire is now ready to continue with Erika. Wow. About two weeks ago, the beautiful actress Chacha Eke took to social media that she's done with her seven year old marriage. Everybody was surprised because Chacha was known to be a very happy woman with a beautiful home. I want you to remember something that a year ago, Chacha acted the role of a mad woman in a movie. She was taken to a particular hospital at Asaba. She was chained and she was really violent. This year, Chacha became ill and was taken to that particular hospital on the same bed. She was chained and she was violent. A month before that period, she was hospitalized and was being taken care of by her mother-in-law. After some days, they were discharged and they went home. That particular day that Chacha made that video, nobody knew. She left her home and made the video on the road. That was when the family quickly came and took her to a hospital. Chacha needs our help. And how are we going to render this help to her? It's by praying for her. So let's join our hands together and talk to God in prayers so that God will help Chacha. Another source said that Chacha Eke's outburst was as a result of alleged consumption of drugs. I will read it the way the person wrote it. 
The actress was introduced into taking weeds and other drugs by her husband, and whenever she's not high, she breaks down, which is allegedly the cause of her outbursts. They have gone broke due to their new lifestyle, and Chacha, who is like the breadwinner of the home, could not take it any longer. Who doesn't know Chacha's weed and drug story in Asaba? She needs to be taken for rehab as she is in a very bad condition. They are currently in so much debt, of which most of the money are being believed to have gone into their drug lifestyle. She is currently being treated by Austin's doctor friend. But trust me, she needs to be in a rehab center. Apparently, she is frustrated whenever she isn't high on drugs and bears her truth during such moments. I believe she wasn't high on the day she came on social media to tell the world she is done. He introduced her into it. That's why her brother called him out. Even the family knows. My people, let's pray for Chacha. If you like my video, drop your comments and subscribe. Thank you.